favorite Christmas tree here. I, uh, this is, uh, day eight. And normally I wouldn't have posted a video, but I've just noticed some things today that are weird. And I'm curious, especially for any of you who have gone through this dental journey, I'm just curious if you've gone through these things too. Um, so as I stated yesterday, I had had the adjustments done to those really sore extraction sites and I had no pain today. It was like the first day with just no pain. It really was amazing. And I actually ventured to work without paste, no Benzodent, no pa or no Orogel, no paste, no nothing, just my natural suction. And just to see how I would fare with that. What I did like about that is that it is, you know, because there's no adhesive, it's easier to take it out to rinse my mouth out with salt water. And I don't have to worry about brushing the heck out of it. I can just, you know, rinse it off and it's all good. Um, so um, I had no problems. It didn't go flying out of my mouth. They stayed in um, and I was able to rinse a lot today. And now that it's been that 24 hour turnaround that my dentist told me, she said, if you don't see significant change in 24 hours, you need to call the oral surgeon. So it's now 24 hours since yesterday and my gums look so much better. They're not like fire red anymore. It's like a gum color and they're still healing, but it does, they don't look angry and, and the swelling in my gums my gums are starting to shrink so I still have good suction and it's still not moving like the plate fits good but when I tried to eat lunch today that didn't work out so well so okay so here's what happened I forgot to bring my cup of noodle I've been eating cup of noodle soups like lunch breakfast lunch and dinner practically for the last week and I totally forgot my lunch today because it was running late and so I'm rushing out the door and so lunch comes and I was like, oh my God, I don't have anything to eat. So I work at a school who has a cafeteria and I had to ask them if I could have some lunch and they forgot to make it for me. So then I had to go out and get lunch and there's like not too much stuff that I can eat around my house. So I went to McDonald's, horrible place. I went to McDonald's and got myself a cheeseburger and I knew I was gonna have a problem eating this but I said all right a cheeseburger is pretty soft it's not too big maybe it'll be all right so I eat lunch by myself anyway I don't venture into the teacher's lounge the teacher's lounge is like the black pit of death where everybody just lays out their crap and I don't have those kinds of problems with students you know I'm the cool teacher and I have a I have I mean I teach 360 students and they're awesome I love them so um I don't ever go into the teacher's lounge I usually eat at my desk in my room and there's nobody in there so um that's where I ate lunch okay so tried to buy it into a hamburger that wasn't working out so well I can't bite into anything to you know eat the plate was just coming out and I'm like, then I tried to hold the plate with my tongue and bite down and that didn't work either. It was just like all over the place and I couldn't get enough of a grip, if that makes sense. Then I tried um, Bill's method by biting up using my bottom teeth and it still wasn't working. So I said, all right, forget it. So I took, um, I just took my fingernail and, you know, kind of punched a hole in the hamburger and tore off a piece of the hamburger and put it in my mouth. And of course I had to have a piece on both sides. I have to chew on both sides. Otherwise it will hurt because it puts pressure in places. It shouldn't have pressure. So as long as I eat on both sides of my mouth, I'm good. So I ate my hamburger like that. It was, um, it was an adventure. <laughs> I could have put paste in my mouth, but I like to take the denture out and clean after I eat in case there's any food particles in there and if I was just putting some adhesive on the palate I was afraid I was gonna have a hard time getting it out and so I didn't want to go through all that so I just tortured myself um by pulling the hamburger off into pieces but it was a good hamburger um 
So that was my lunch adventure. So, okay, so there's something I've noticed, and this is the part where I'm, I'm curious about your input. So when I, before I got all this done, you know, my teeth, they were a mess. You know, like I said, I had four broken teeth. I had infection going on and I had it for a long time too. I mean, I lived with that kind of pain for a long time, but I had infection, but, and I knew I always had, you know, like a bad taste in my mouth. And I knew that, that it was because of the infection and, and my teeth weren't where they needed to be. And, you know, anytime I had that bad taste, it taste in my mouth, I knew my breath wasn't right. And, you know, nobody, I mean, even my kids, nobody ever said anything to me if my breath was rank or not. But I just was so self-conscious of it because to me, I felt like if I, if my mouth doesn't taste right, my breath must not be right. So, um, I always had mints in my bag. I always had gum in my bag. I mean, I never left the house without mints or gum. I always had it because I talk up close and personal with people. And even if my breath was fine, even if all this is in my head and my breath is fine, I'm so up close to kids and stuff like that, that I just didn't want to have to, you know, ever have to deal with you know, making somebody feel uncomfortable because my breath was bad. So I always had a mint. I always had gum. I was always sucking on something. And maybe that's why nobody ever said my breath was bad because I always had candy in my mouth. Um, but I never noticed if my breath, you know, if my breath was bad or not bad, you know, you don't smell your own breath. And so I never noticed it. But, you know, when my teeth were in my mouth, I never noticed anybody else either. Um, and I'm, I'm wondering if maybe my own breath, whether I realized it or not, if my own breath desensitized my sense of smell for other people's breath. So here's the reason why I say that. So today, I was up close and personal with people and just having, you know, normal conversation. And... I noticed their breath and I'm, you know, like I said, I, the, the reason why it's such a thing in my head right now is because I don't remember smelling anybody's breath. You know, I really don't. And it's like, now I'm noticing it and I'm like, wow, did my breath smell like that? Where's my mints? Then I started feeling, is that my breath? Then I started thinking that maybe it was me. But then I wouldn't be talking and someone else would be talking and I would smell it again. And I'm just like, oh, back up a little bit. And it was weird because it was like, now I'm kind of realizing some of the things that I was doing. Like, you know, of course, I'm not going to say anything because that's rude. You don't tell somebody, especially if, if they're not your family member or something. You don't tell somebody, hey, you got stank breath. You want a mint? <laughs> um, <laughs> I could never do that. I'm sorry. I could never do that. But, you know, I kind of just backed up a little bit because I didn't want that odor in my nose. And I was just like, oh, okay. And so I, you know, it made me think like about the warning signs. Like, you know, nobody's going to say it to your face, but you notice people like if you talk and you notice people like kind of backing up away from you, your breast stinks. If, if you're talking to somebody and they're looking at you and they're just like, oh, your breast stinks, you know? I mean, these are like the warning signs. I'm getting it now. And I might not have like seen it before, but I see it now because now I'm doing it. You know, I'm kind of backed up away because I didn't want that odor in my mouth and my nose. It was, it's awful. And I'm just like, okay, like, I'm glad I always had mints. I'm glad I always had gum on me because, you know, this is coming from a person who, or people, it wasn't just one, it was a few, um, people who have like perfectly normal teeth or at least they look normal. So I, I just was floored by this and I, I just, 
all day today, man, I was noticing, not in, oh man, I was noticing it from the students too. I was noticing the students breath and, and it was like not good. So I'm just curious if you guys have noticed since, since you've had your dentures and, and you no longer have bad breath because your mouth is healthy now, right? There's no infection. You don't have any, you know, problem teeth because you have a denture. Has, has it brought your sense of smell back? Because I feel like my sense of smell is back and I kind of wish it wasn't. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but it's just, you know, it's just taken me back and it's got me thinking and Wow. I think I'll still keep mints and gum in my purse because, you know, I'm going to be very conscious of that, very self-conscious of that. Um, and there's nothing worse than having a conversation with somebody and then all of a sudden you see him back up away from you and you know, I mean, you know that it's, that it's just okay, it must be me. So anyway, leave a comment. Let me know if you've experienced any of that. Because, you know, I've noticed it hardcore today. Um, and it was pretty interesting. So other than that, that's it. Um, this really wasn't meant to be an update per se. Just a question because I'm just curious. But um, I've had a great day. No pain in my mouth. Able to eat carefully. Um, can't eat chicken or anything like that yet. But I am able to eat you know, chop meat kind of stuff and, and very carefully, but, um, no pain today. I uh, haven't had any more stitches come out since yesterday. So, you know, the areas that still have stitches are still itchy a little bit, but I have no pain. So I'm, I'm good. I'm very excited about that. And, um, I will probably post an actual update for you guys in a week. That'll be the two week update. Um, you know, I may or may not have questions of things that arise that are new to me, you know, and I might want your input, but that's where I'm at today. So I will talk to y'all later. Peace.